All right, we're here on a hot afternoon in the Caribbean at uh, Blue Light Gin Distillery. We're whipping up a Singapore sling today. Uh, first made, it's credited to Niang Tong Boon. I think I got that right. Um, anyway, he was a bartender in the 1910s at Raffles Long Bar. That's where this drink was invented. It was probably something that he made as a riff on like a gin sling and sort of uh, introduced it to some patrons or whatever and and they loved it so much but he didn't write down the recipe it was like something they came back to him for uh, the first time this was ever written in a book was a Savoy cocktail book the famous Savoy cocktail book in 1930 so this is almost like 20 years later um, anyways we'll kind of get to it here as we mix we'll talk gin most important we need three quarters of an ounce of that Then we need a half ounce of each. And cherry brandy. So the reason uh, too, I was bringing up that about the, the cocktail and how it was made is that um, no two recipes in any book are the same. So. I think that the fun with this drink is just trying to figure out what works for you and what you like about all the different recipes that you can find. Because the original recipe was lost to the sands of time. All right, then I need a half ounce of lime juice and one ounce of pineapple juice. A little bit of Angostura bitters. And we're gonna shake all this with a lot of ice. So we make it super chill. We're fast approaching happy hour. Then we're gonna to top this off with soda water. Just like a floater, right on top. I like to put a dash of bitters on top so you get that, uh, all those aromatics. It's really beautiful that way. And uh, I kind of like a fresh, a little bit of extra lime just on the top, just, just for that aromatic quality. And I put the crushed lime on top to garnish it. Put an orange wheel right in there. And you got yourself a nice, beautiful tiki head Singapore sling. Beautiful.